So our next stop on the journey through the body is breast cancer. And Della from New York is here. Della, what's your question? Hi, Dr. Oz. Um, I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. I've had cancer three times, and I was actually just starting to do yoga and do some physical activity. Um, is doing yoga and exercise a good way to prevent being diagnosed a fourth time? Well, physical activity by itself is hugely effective in part because it controls the amount of fat we have. And when we have fat on our body anywhere, especially in the belly, it actually creates some of these hormones, especially estrogens that we think stimulate some of these cancers. It also, by the way, exercising mm -hmm. boosts T cells and therefore that's one of the key immune cells. So it helps your immune system battle back against cancers. Because you know, we all have cancer right now. Everybody in this room has cancer. So is everyone watching at home. But that cancer is there and it's being kept in check because there are immune cells that are seeing this, not you, and they're taking it out. So exercise helps get that immune system ready for battle. Dara, help us a little bit on this topic. Uh, what, what would you do? Well, first of all, physical activity and stress and all of those things, once controlled, uh, are very effective in decreasing the risk of all cancers. Uh, there have been specific studies um, on yoga and breast cancer. They looked at a small study of women who did yoga, and they noticed that they increased their quality of life significantly by actually doing yoga. So, but the physical activity actually decreases your risk of developing breast and other cancers, so you're absolutely on the right track. Thank you. So well, just based on your own personal experience, other things you'd recommend to folks to reduce the chance of developing breast cancer? Well, we know that vitamin D is very important in reducing the risk for breast cancer. In fact, there are studies that show up to a 50% decrease in breast cancer See, as you take vitamin you guys, D. I keep telling you vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. Yeah, and you have to take the active form of vitamin D, yeah. uh, vitamin D3, uh, but I recommend at least 1,000 international units a day, mm -hmm. uh, but it's very, very effective. But I think you're right. Taking it in vitamin form is probably the wisest way if you're not going to get sun exposure.